Hello everyone, my name is James Bellissimo. I'm your Berwick Town Manager, and I'm here to do some updates for the month of August, 2023. First item I have for you today is an update on the tax stabilization program. Uh, you probably filled one of these forms out recently. The state legislature has um, gotten rid of this program and is essentially replacing it with the expansion of two other programs. You will benefit from it this year, and it's this year only. Um, so again, the, the, the property tax frozen program is being replaced. Um, one of the expansions of the programs is called the property tax fairness credit. It's aimed for low to middle income households. Um, what they did is they expand the eligibility and they increased the credit to $500. Um, if you're interested in learning if you um, benefit from it, you can visit the Main Revenue Services page and see the property tax fairness for more information. Or if you're confused, I'll be happy to talk through it with you, or you can reach out to Assessing. The other program that you should know about for folks that are um, having a really hard time paying their property taxes, there is a... Um, it is still relatively a new program that have expanded eligibility to folks that are behind on taxes up to 18 months. Now they've allowed um, access to the property tax deferral program, which is a loan program where your property taxes are deferred and their taxes are deferred until there's a, a death of the homeowner or the property uh, is sold. The state pays the town the difference, um, so the town keeps that property tax revenue and the state essentially provides a loan. So our you know, most vulnerable people that are either disabled or, or seniors can stay in their home as they age. I have an update on Memorial Field. The playground has been, install has been installed to Public Works. We're waiting on a delivery date, or um, excuse me, a installation date. We have some irrigation work to do also in that area to move some water lines, um, but we're still still optimistic and hopeful that that project will start soon. And another project going on is a retaining wall has begun construction and we need that for the grade for the pickleball and tennis court. As soon as that retaining wall is done, then we can bring out Libby Scott to work on final graving for the basketball court and both courts will be paved. We have a farmland survey that is out and it was released yesterday. If you own about five acres or more of open field, you'll receive a survey in the mail from Maine Farmland Trust. The survey is also available online on the town website and there are paper copies available at the town hall. And if you have anything to do with agriculture, I mean, if you have chickens or if you do anything from your land, if you grow flowers, anything agricultural related, we want to hear from you. And this is all part about the whole purpose of doing this is to help develop a robust and meaningful strategies with our town comprehensive plan to put farmland to work and ultimately preserve our farmland as one of the best means to preserve our rural character in Berwick. So with the open space plan, you can see the map here, the light blue are lands that are undeveloped. It is actually quite a bit of, of town that we still have that is um, contiguous undeveloped space. And the dark blue are conserved properties. And you might be surprised to find that we actually do have quite a bit of land in Berwick that is conserved, but there's more work to be done. Uh, water update, uh, main water has been great uh, as operating our plant. Um, and thankfully this summer, the rain has kept the manganese away. So we can be grateful for rain in that way. Um, the pre-treatment process is our large scale project that we have been working on for some time now that is still on track for winter of 2024 completion. And what that is is a creation of almost an entirely new facility that will treat the water before it gets to our plant. We have a shorter range upgrade 
project planned for this year, which will replace the filter media and it will replace some under drains. Um, some of the manganese issues, we see some of that when we pull the guts out of our plant, we see some of that remnants and to re replace under drains and to replace the media will help the plant filter and, and, and greatly increase reliability. Also part of that project is to um, purchase some blowers and equipment. So when we have a, a equipment go down, we have extras right on hand so we don't have any delays. Um, happy to report that our ADA lift has, has been installed and now it's pending inspection. This is for ADA accessibility into the auditorium. It's not for luggage or anything like that. It's for folks on wheelchairs or anyone that has difficulties with stairs. Um, if you have any questions on that, please reach out to myself or um, during elections, the town clerk. Um, speaking of elections, uh, we have some ordinance amendments coming your way for your approval for November. Uh, the public hearing was held first through planning board on June uh, 20th. There was a special meeting scheduled and held on June 27th. The planning board chair, Mike LaRue, presented to the select board on August 1st. There's some pretty rich discussions. If you want to get some context on why the documents, where it's at today, you can visit those on the town website or YouTube page or Borough Community YouTube page. Uh, the finalized document will be ready August 15th. There will be a public hearing on the whole warrant on October 17th and the election will be November 7th. Uh, I invite you to sign up for the Borough Bi-Monthly. If you have not yet, the link is available on the town website. It is a bi-monthly newsletter and it goes out twice a month. And it has uh, all kinds of updates from all the happenings in the town. And as you may know, uh, Bring Your Lawn Chairs to Sullivan Square is August 19th from 4 to 8 p.m. We have some great bands, community organizations will be there, and new to this year is a maker's market. So, um, you know, the events expanded over the years and um, hope to see you there. And I just want to give a shout out to uh, Drew McCormick and Lisa Hustis, uh, Public Works, and just everyone that's, um, you know, the work going on with The Edge, all the work that's gone on for the downtown for beautification and infrastructure work. Um, really take a pause and look around downtown. It's, it's really looking nice. So thanks to everyone for their efforts to help with the beautification. And that completes my updates for this month. As always, feel free to call me or email me. If you have any ideas for things you'd like me to cover, feel free to reach out and I will be talking to you soon. Thank you.